Monster Hackers. Welcome to the fifth video of the series chat application using Monster. In this video, we will be linking up the backend with the frontend. So, in order to do so, first we'll need to start the backend. So, that's what we'll be doing right now. So, go to the chat cozy folder, the backend folder, open the CMD and type npm start. So that will start the backend for us. The backend is on port 8000. So first we'll need to install two more dependencies. So first we'll install npm install axios and then we'll install sweet alert 2. Sweet alert 2 is for toasts that will be displaying. It will make sense in a while. I've already installed them so we can skip that. So then what I wanted to do is go to the uh, source folder and create a new file toaster.js and paste in this content. I'll provide this content in my written tutorial so and I'll put the link to the description. So in the register phase we'll, what we need to do is get the input fields value and call the backend API. So we'll be using axios to call the backend. And we need to create three refs. So const react dot create ref. So we need to create. So one will be the name ref, and another will be you know, email ref, another will be password ref. So once we have done that, we need to link the input fields. So in the name input field, we'll go and type name ref. In the email, we'll write email ref. And in the password, we'll write password ref. So we have linked the refs. So we'll create a function now. So we'll create a function to register the user. So register user will be a function, arrow function. So what we'll do is we'll get the values from the ref. So we'll get const name equal to name ref dot current dot value and repeat. So we'll need email ref and password ref. So we got the values. So we'll do axios dot post slash user slash register and we'll pass some values. So values will be name email and password so then this is a promise we'll get our response so this response is not the real data the real data lies inside response dot data so what we can do is make a toast make toast so since we need to import this from here, so is make toast function. So import make toast from toaster. That's it. So in the response, what we'll do is we'll make toast. So we'll just do a dot success, and this will be response dot data dot message. So in the API, we have sent the message back. So that's why where this message is coming from. So we need to catch errors as well because um, maybe the email is not valid or the password is less than five characters. So what we can do is go here, make toast. Uh, so we'll get error.response to data red message. So we just make a console log of the response to data. So when to call this? So whenever this button is clicked, on click equal to register user. So now that we can register user, maybe let's see. Since we have already started the backend, maybe we can register users. So register. Oh, something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong, but something's wrong. So let's see what's
I don't know what's wrong. Okay, so we are posting to the wrong URL. So we should be posting to HTTP slash localhost port 8000 slash Caesar. That's where the error is coming from. So let's try now. So register. So something's wrong. So let's comment this. Console console dot log uh, error. Let's see what's going wrong. So register. Let's see what's here. What's the error? So network error. This allows remote. Okay. So what we need to do is go to the backend. Chat Jose and go to the app. So let's first oh, cancel this thing. So what you need to do is we need to install another package, course. So once you have installed that, you need to go to app.js and where you use the middlewares, this. So app.use course. So you need to require it first and that will do. Set up cross origin. So that's it. Close this file and start the server again. And I think we'll be good to go. So let's check and hit register. And response failed. Okay, so that's it. <coughs> okay, we are getting there, but this is not success type. This will be a error type. So let's see. Email is not supported from because we haven't provided any email. So let's start with this. So name. Okay. Come on. Gmail.com KIT1. So let's register. User with same email. Okay, I'll keep one, two, three. So registered successfully. That's good. So we have registered. So once the registration process is complete, we need to send the user to the login page. Right. So you need to get the props, the register page. And after this response is successful, you need to do props dot history dot push slash login, and that will redirect to the web. So, so let's try again one more registration. So, Simba Garwal Gmail dot com. So let's see Ankit X Y Z. And on kit one as the password. So let's try register successfully, and we are in the login page. So let's set up the login page now. So in the login page, what we can do is we can have this console log. And if you don't know, uh, so we are in the login page. So Similar procedure, go to up, create this email ref and password ref, just like that, get the props as well, email ref, password ref, get the props, so a similar function will be there, like this, and maybe make toast is not defined, we can import it, auto import it. Axios is not defined, auto import it. It is Axios. I like it lowercase. So we don't have the name ref. We don't need to pass the name. So push to dashboard. But let's comment it out for now. And console.log response.data. Let's see what's in the response.data. So let's try a login. So we haven't set up this. On click 
so we need to put the on click to this and set up refs so ref equal to password ref and ref equal to email ref so you need to pass the email and password in the body and it will work so let's try this onkit at the red gmail.com onkit1 user okay we are calling the register endpoint so call the login endpoint onkit at the red gmail.com and kit1 and login user login successfully so you see the console the response has a message and it also has a token so what you need to do is local storage dot set item you need set uh, chat token chat cosi token cc token okay so that's what we'll be naming our token so <clears throat> once you have set that you can safely redirect to the dashboard so we'll be using this cc token later on so first now we like i would like to take a step and set up the index page so create rfc and so this is the index so i would like to create a component in mount function so we'll be using reactor use effect use effect and and make it this so you need to get the props so first we'll go to apter.js set up a path for slash and set the index page over here so what we need to do is get the to cc token local storage dot get item cc underscore token so if token is not defined what you need to do is we need to props dot history dot push slash login so if it is not defined you need to go to the login page else we'll go to the dashboard that's why i created the index page there so here is a error warning you can skip that warning so how to skip so es lint disable disable next line that will suppress the error for now so let's see if this works so first let's log in so it didn't work why didn't it work so so maybe we need to pass a zero over here if that's what it needs okay okay i forgot the this is a silly mistake so make your routes exact all of them make it exact so save it and i think that will work so class you go to login so let's remove that index it's bothering me so make it nothing so we'll go to this and we'll use the login page cool pretty cool so now let's try to login i'll get one so i logged in i go to the dashboard Okay, error that response is not defined. Hmm. Why is it so? Something didn't work. I don't know what. Get one get one. I don't know what didn't work. So it was locked in successfully, but somewhere something went wrong i don't know so make sure 
we have this one over there so i don't know what's causing the error if error and error dot response and dot response dot data and error dot response dot data dot message so put this if block in the register page as well so maybe that's what's causing the error so let's try this and it didn't okay so in the login page what i have done is set item cc token but i didn't pass any token that's why we missed the error response to data dot token so now we can set it so let's see mm, let's see if it works now so yeah we reach the dashboard and if i hit this local host we reach the dashboard so we have set up the index page as well so that's it for this video rights so in the next video we'll be creating this chat room um listing this chat room as well that's it guys see you in the next video do subscribe for more content like this bye bye